right. Um, so, for, um, I'm Mackenzie Ebert. I'm the president of communications at the um, PTK chapter here at Bridgewater Hutchinson campus. Um, this is Jill. She is our advisor and she um, kind of oversees what the chapter um, does. First of all, I'd like to say congratulations. I mean, you guys are the top of your class. You, in the top 2% of all students, you got that 3.5 GPA and now have the opportunity to join an international honor society. PTK Phi Theta Kappa has been around since uh, 1986. It has uh, 1,000, about 1,200 chapters worldwide. worldwide. Um, and because of that, being a member means that you have the opportunity and connections throughout the world. Wherever you go, people will know what Phi Theta Kappa is. Phi Theta Kappa is based on um, four pillars. Leadership, service, fellowship, and scholarship. Um, Phi Theta Kappa strives to give you guys the opportunity to learn skills that you can't learn inside the classroom. Classroom is where you learn the knowledge and the academic needs that you need to have a good career, to get into um, graduate school, but PTK gives you other skills, soft skills. Um, the opportunity to build your resume and show people, mainly other colleges and businesses, that you're a valued person and are set out from your peers. PTK also strives to give back to you guys. You guys have worked hard and have put in the time and effort to get the good grades, and we want to give you guys the honor that you deserve. That comes in the form of scholarships, connections, and really just the recognition that you guys deserve. The pillar of leadership. PTK is an opportunity for you guys to grow and expand as a person. Through um, different levels of involvement, uh, these are not set involvement. We're not monitoring how much you guys are active or not, but it's just a way of showing that um, there is no minimum um, requirement. You can sign up to be a PTK member, have access to the scholarships and recognition, but not have to participate, although we highly encourage that. Um, the lowest uh, level of involvement would be just participating in our weekly meetings. We have meetings every Wednesday in the Commons Room, and that during those meetings is when we go over um, what we're doing, what events we're planning, it's where you guys will get updates on different service opportunities that are going on at the moment. Uh, it's where you can give your opinion to and input on what we should be doing. What kind of events do you want to see happening in the campus and around the community? Kind of the next level of involvement would be um, helping out with our service projects and volunteering opportunities. Just um, yesterday evening, we went to Common Cut Ministries, which is a organization that strives to give back to the children of the community who rely upon school um, reduced, me uh, reduced cost meals at schools uh, for their food during the week. We pack bags full of non-perishable food and send it home with them over the weekend. Uh, we do, we're trying to get involved with Feed My Starving Children. We're seeing if we can bring out a truck to the campus. All of that would be um, opportunities for you guys to get involved with that, to take a leading role in planning this and contacting these organizations and seeing what uh, you guys can do to uh, shape our activities. Which also is um, the next point of being able to plan the PTK events is that again, you guys have the a power to choose what we're doing. Participate in Honors for Action. Uh, Honors for Action is a founding and central piece of Phi Beta Kappa internationally. Every two years, a new theme 
is chosen by the kind of the head PTK board this year's world perspectives. We are deciding on doing, focusing in on a specific topic, which is rights and responsibilities. And do we have a responsibility to educate the children of the US? Now, uh, participating in Honors for Action means that you would help us find information about what kind of opportunities there are to educate um, children, whether we do have a responsibility or whether or not it's completely up to the individual. Uh, what kind of projects might we start to change something in the community that would um, benefit the children in high school and surrounding high schools? Um, the highest level kind of involvement would be becoming a president of one of our divisions. As I mentioned before, I'm president of communications. Um, I send out the emails um, to members, contact different uh, service opportunity organizations. I also do things like creating an agenda and minutes. Uh, we have Thomas Moresh. He is our president of marketing. He gets posters up and about our events. He gets the word out to student life, uh, does the social media side of things. Um, we also are looking for a president of finance who would be kind of responsible for seeing, say during a fundraising event, where are we in profits? Where are we with what costs we have for it? Uh, and get kind of reports like that. President of research, they would go on fine. Well, okay, do we want to do honors for action? What does that entail? What do we need to do to have an honors in action project? Um, I'm going to state and national conferences. This is one of the funnest aspects of joining PTK. This year's national conference is in Washington, D.C. takes place in April and takes place in April every year. Uh, next year will be in Nashville, Tennessee, which if you guys join, you would have the opportunity to go to. Conferences are where you guys will make most of your connections. This is where you'll meet people who could someday be the head of a company, who could someday be in a company that you want to look into getting a job at, and you can say, well, I know this person, would you be willing to recommend me to your employer? This is where you'll be able to take seminars about being able to be an active leader in your community, about learning how to interact with a group of people and still be able to um, work well together. It's also just a fun time to learn about like-minded peers who have also worked hard in their academics and really are set to have a successful life. Oh, um, state conferences, regional. Um, this happens once a semester, twice a year. They are more state located Ours are usually a combination of the lower half of Minnesota and kind of some of North and South Dakota. It'll take, this one will take place in Anoka County, and again, it's kind of a smaller version of the national conferences. There are those same seminars, those same networking opportunities on a more local level. Service opportunities. As I said before, we have worked with um, Common Cup Ministries. We're looking to work with Feed My Starving Children. This also would be uh, opportunities to just give back to the community and build your resume, showing that you're willing to give your time to help out those who may not be as uh, in a well-off position is a huge thing. It shows that uh, good work ethic and everything that comes with being a volunteer. We strive to give you these opportunities in a convenient and easy manner. Again, with the Common Cup Ministries, we try to do this once a month, and so that way you have um, as many opportunities as you can to be able to visit there. Bev, who is overseas, our volunteering over there is super excited about us being there and has said that she is willing to write letters of recommendation and give um, and put in a good word
for those who are showing the showing that they want to help out there. We also have started things called a, a giving tree. We're looking into doing next year during Christmas time. What giving tree is, is usually we set up a Christmas tree, have tags that we get from uh, like in the Meeker County that would have the age and gender of a kid who then asks for something to be given for them for Christmas. Usually you would think that they'd be asking for toys or something to play with. A lot of these kids are asking for underwear. They're asking for socks and clothing, toiletries. They just want the fundamentals. So a lot of time what people do, if they take a tag, being, becoming responsible for that child, is they'll get that and then something a little extra. It's open to the entire campus and we're responsible really for just setting it up and maintaining it. This pillar of scholarship. This is really all about giving back to you guys. You have already had those good have those good grades. You've put in the work and now it's time to read some of the benefits. PTK in total offers about $37 million in scholarships through a website called collegefish.org, which I'll be showing you guys afterwards, after the PowerPoint, um, has a huge database of scholarships that you can go through a search to say, well, okay, I might, might want to go to this college, or I like, I have done this type of activity, and it'll give, show you scholarships that fit exactly with what you're saying. PTK also has a unique scholarship application on its own website that those are a little bit less abundant, but have a lot more money with them. So that is scholarship. Fellowship. Networking. Having connections across the globe. Getting to meet peers who show the same enthusiasm for learning, for wanting to achieve, to wanting to, be, to do more than just get by with whatever you can. In PTK, not only will you be part of the Hutchinson chapter, where you will be able to create a group of peers on your own campus, but by participating in conferences, you get that same connection everywhere. They're, the conferences are set up so that these connections happen. They don't just throw you in and say, hey, go, go find someone. It's geared towards these connections being made. It's kind of an overview of the benefits. Um, the, as I mentioned before, the $37 million in scholarships um, that are available through collegefish.org and through the PTK website itself, which again, I'll be showing you after the PowerPoint. Five-star competitive edge. That is a program within PTK, another free opportunity that for you to, it's geared towards developing soft skills. It has online seminars, it has small activities that after completing it, you get a certificate saying, I have these soft skills. I know how to be a good leader. I know how to work as, in a group. I know how to have good communication. And then employers see that and say, this is someone that I want to hire. They have the same academics as maybe all these other people, but this person knows what to do and will know how to work with their colleagues. So that's what Competitive Edge gives you. Opportunity to be published in PTK's anthology. If you ever do any research, if you ever work with a group that has um, an article or any kind of creative writing, you have the opportunity to submit it to be published through their anthology Nota Bane. And uh, this is only open to PTK, PTK members. The Honors in Action Project again, um, which is where you can have opportunity to grow as a leader. Opportunity to become a network of three million fellow scholars. And personalized letters of recommendation for scholarships and employment. 
that not only refers to Jill and to um, any recommendation letters that you may ask of her, but also the PTK website themselves. There's an option for you to request letters of recommendation for specifically if you want it to be a scholarship application or for if you're applying to a business. They will send you one of those really nice paper applications. You know what I'm talking about, those, that thick paper. And uh, just really nice, uh, saying exactly what PTK, being a member of it, means. Why you should be considered. Then just a couple of pictures of our um, induction ceremony. This was last year's spring induction ceremony. We will, we will be having another one on March 16th if you so cho choose to become a member. It's a, as you can see, it's kind of a business casual event. It's very nice to be able to bring your family in, let them see this honor that you're being recognized. You light a candle, write your name in our little PTK book, and give a pledge of leadership, fellowship, scholarship, and service. This event is your bragging rights. Bring in your friends, bring in those relatives you haven't seen in a while, and show them exactly what you have achieved, exactly what you have earned to do. So that's kind of my overview of PTK. Um, I'll now go through just kind of showing you guys the website um, and kind of where you can find more information about this. So this is ptk.org. This is where, if you so choose, you will accept membership. And what you do is that using your Ridgewater email, which will be, regis will be um, registered that you have been invited to be a PTK member, will be put in here and clicking accept membership. There is a one-time fee of $70. However, we always like to say, what you pay now will come back tenfold later in scholarships. For example, uh, U of M has a, I believe, $2,000 scholarship for being a PTK member. Not for anything else, being a PTK member. I even, I got an email last night, and I thought this is perfect to use in this for an example. I got an email from Emerson College offering $4,000 for being a PTK member. I didn't go to them, I didn't solicit this. They come to you as a PTK member. They want high achieving students in their colleges and are willing to pay for it. This is also where you can find different programs that we have. Again, collegefish.org, where you can look through the different colleges and the different scholarships that may be offered. Um, this is where you'll find Competitive Edge. This kind of gives you an overview of what it is and uh, what kind of opportunities you have through it. It's also where you can find Honors in Action. This explains a little bit more in depth about what Otter in Action is, um, what steps are taken when we start participating in it, and what kind of opportunities you guys can create for yourselves within this project. The events. Nerd Nation refers to our national conference. Uh, going here will tell you more information about what it is, what is happening, and although the deadline for this uh, conference is passed, um, as I said, next year is Nashville, Tennessee. So you guys can um, look and see kind of what type of opportunities are allowed here. These scholarships under this tab are going to be the scholarships that are available through PTK themselves and not through collegefish.org. As you can see, there's associate, but there's also bachelor's and master's degrees. Being a PTK member doesn't stop when you graduate Ridgewater. It doesn't end the moment you get your diploma and say, I'm no longer part of this community college. 
it lasts through the rest, basically the rest of your life. It is on your official transcript. You have still the opportunities to have these scholarships as you go throughout your academic career. There are more opportunities to be a leader in the regional, in the state, in the international levels if you so choose it. P being a PTK member is a fairly permanent thing as long as you maintain a 3.0 GPA. So I'm going to show you the collegefish.org, just a little bit of how that works. Once, uh, once Internet Explorer is done loading, I will show you uh, kind of how you're able to search through the different scholarships that are available um, and what type of opportunities that College Fish Star gives you. And I know Mankato gives, is, there's an automatic $2,000, um, Mankato State, or uh, $2,000 scholarship. Mm -hmm. I think that's the same for the University of Minnesota. Mm -hmm. uh, we used to have someone who was very versed in where the money went. We just don't have um, a member that's actually paying attention to all of that. Uh, but there are a lot, it's, it's recognized. So if you're, most places that you go, you're gonna find that you will have some sort of automatic scholarship that's applied. Not only that, but colleges themselves are highly aware of what PT, being a PTK member means. Um, in two recent interviews that I had with top schools, they asked about any kind of um, honor clubs that I might be a part of. When I mentioned being a member of um, Phi Theta Kappa, you could tell that they right away were really interested. They asked about what type of activities I had helped in. Um, if I had become a leader in the organization, whether or not I was using that to go out and um, volunteer in the community. They know that becoming a member takes a lot. So they are very willing to write a good thing about being a PTK who, member. What, tell, tell them who the college is. Um, they were interviews with um, Princeton University and Stanford University. Um, so being that they're Ivy Leagues, they really do look specifically at honor societies. They love knowing that you put in the effort and that you put in the time and commitment to do this kind of a thing. Let's see if it'll uh, work for me this time. All right, it appears to still be kind of fighting me. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions about it, I don't know, it's going. Um, all right, so I guess I can, I will be able to show you guys. Who's just saying, if you guys have any questions after this at all, not even just about College Fish Dog, or, but about PTK in general, about um, what you can do to be involved, um, don't be afraid to contact um, me or Jill. Um, our email is here. Jill also has your, your office is in with the other teacher offices right over there. 
again, the meetings are every Wednesday at 9 so that you know that you can come there even if you're still deciding on whether or not you want to be a member stop by and just kind of see what we what it is we do while we're in action so collegefish.org so this is kind of the home page once you create a profile it asks in your profile it'll ask all about you what you do um, what your education has been like and then when you go through the scholarships, it'll ask you what you're looking for, whether it may or may not be region specific, whether or not um, it applies to a specific major or area of study, and whether or not, um, let's see, if we down here, um, what kind of employment volunteer experiences you've had. So as you can see, you can be as vague and general or as specified as you want to in your searches. This way it tailors scholarships exactly to what you have done and where you might be going. It has a similar search for colleges. This way you can make a list of your favorite colleges. It gives you stats on them, how many, um, undergraduates, graduates they might have, what's their student-faculty ratio, all the information that you might look up and research on your own right there at the click of a button, and then you can compare different colleges all right there. So that is about all the information I have for you guys. Um, ah, one last thing. Um, PTK offers graduation um, regalia that uh, you can wear, this one would be over your shoulders as you graduate, and this would be your tassel that you can put on your graduation cap. There are more that you can look up and see at the PTK store, but these are the only two that Richwater themselves allow us to separate ourselves from the crowd with. It's just another way for you to identify yourself as being the top of your class and a, one of the top students in the school. Are there any questions or comments, concerns? No? All right, well, again, congratulations on your academic achievements and have a nice day.